Okay, here we go. My new favorite trail. Hang on to your hats. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> Anyone's wondering, that's my 90 amp alarm. I just like to know when I'm pushing the wheel a little bit. Good thing to know, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I see guys on your on the side there. Thank you. Sound in the wheel. The 
sorry, that's my 99 amp alarm. Woo. Right on the edge here. Copper in that first five, ten minutes of a ride where your calves just and feet ache. <laughs> Look at this side hill. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Climbing that hill. This is the high speed version, so it doesn't have the torque that the uh, high torque version does clearly. But it holds its own, and it's like, I believe as long as you watch the temperature, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Definitely really like the overhead when you do want to go fast. <laughs> so I'm like 210 pounds. I'm climbing some significant hills. I've hit, I don't let it go much over 60 if it gets hot. 55 even. I have the Apple Watch, so I'm constantly watching my temperature after a climb. So I'm very much aware. I think that's maybe a key to ride the high speed wheel on trails like this is just to watch what you're doing, develop a relationship with your wheel, to know how it responds to hills. And then the 90 that amp alarm works too, because if you know, sorry, 99 amp, you know when you're pretty much pushing the, the max current according to the app anyway, for your wheel. As far as electric unicycling, this trail is like, die, go to heaven, we had to ride electric unicycle trails in heaven, this would be one of the ones that we'd be riding for sure. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky, there's some rocks here, but for the most part, we know there's lots of rocks overall. It's pretty easy. Especially after you do one. So this will be my, I went out and back yesterday. So this will be my third time doing this. And already it's way, way easier. Ooh, that was a tricky route. My tire is getting pretty worn. I try not to spin if I can help it on like rocks and stuff. Cause that's really when you get your flats, I think. I'm underconfident a lot of the time, I think. Which is good. Especially if you're gonna be like 20K from your car or something. You want to make sure that you're gonna be able to get back, I think. <laughs> I don't 
make this video like 15 minutes. I don't want to record videos my whole ride. Because I love to listen to music when I ride too. And with phone in your hand and no music, it's not the same. <laughs> to share the experience of a trail like this. Oh, it's pretty awesome. When you have your alarm set and you hear when the alarms go off, you start to know when you're pushing your wheel. Oh, something else that's interesting. So I sent uh, Darkness Bot one of those op one of those feature request um, emails. Oops. Oh, Pedal hit, I didn't fall. Um, that I would like to, uh, them to re the wattage only went up to 5,000 prior. And I said, I hit 15,000 on my MSP regularly, according to the app. You should bump it up to like 30,000. So then we can actually use the wattage feature. So now it goes, I don't know how high it goes, but it goes at, at least 20, I bet. So now you can set your wattage alarm. And I know the braking creates wattage. So on acceleration, according to the app, the most wattage you're gonna get out of your wheel is 10,000 watts. But on braking is where you get above 10,000 watts. So I set my wattage to 11,000. So now when I do some really heavy braking, I'll hear a, uh, the wattage alarm go off, which is indicating to me that I'm putting, I'm, I'm generating a lot of watts in my braking. So then I know when I'm braking really hard too, which I already know that, but I mean, it's interesting to, to hear the alarm go off when you are really braking hard. Twelve minutes, I'm gonna make this video 15 minutes. And I would have already stopped it three or four times yesterday. I don't think I've stopped. Can I put my foot down once? Yeah, I've stopped once, I think. Just amazing, like anything. Your improvement after the first time you try something is your best improvement. <laughs> if that makes any sense. amount of people I saw so far on this ride is like way more than normal so and this trail is the lower trail there's only one trail and it climbs way way up and then all the trails are way up higher and uh, so it just gets less and less busy and then as you get way up then you will run into like the more adventurous hikers and mountain bikers and stuff I'd say electric unicyclist but <laughs> Oh, can I do this one? Yeah, I'm doing it. Just a little drop. Ah, oh, there we go. That I cannot do. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, you can do that. I applaud you. <laughs> I don't even know how. I've got to switch hands to lift. To even lift the wheel over this. Okay. Like, look at. There's uh, just like how big. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, here we go again. I have this habit of pretty much every time I stop. Just giving the wheel a squeeze. There's so many places to, to ding a rim. I just like to make sure I know ahead of time if my tires and pressure's ever dropping. That's a, a good uh, hobby to, to create, a good ha 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 um, habit, sorry. To be able to uh, Eliminate the chance of damaging your wheel. Whoa. I'm not 
I'm gonna make this a 20 minute, 20 minute video. This trail which is so amazing. This is where the spike pedals are so um, valuable as well. If I didn't have spike pedals, I don't even know. Like, spike pedals and power pad pads, this trail would be so much harder with that. Though. Wouldn't be as fun. No matter how mucky my feet get, or uh, I'd never have to worry about traction. It's always consistent. Very, very good traction. <sighs> One day I hope, you know, it gets more popular enough that I can ride this with people <laughs> besides myself. Starving for for riding partners. <laughs> These trails are just mind blowingly beautiful and fun. It's gonna be like a really rocky area coming up here soon. That's where I'm gonna end the video, unless it ends before. Since this is 4K, it, you know how it just uses a ton of memory 4K at 60 frames per second. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's funny how content you get with like things clearing your pedals by like millimeters all the time. <laughs> body's pretty amazing yeah. to be able to uh, adapt to this type of thing. Ooh, that's a tight spot. Woohoo! Yeah, I imagine if I had a camera that was like watching my uh, pedal clearance all the time, it would make me a nervous wreck. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to set that up. I gotta remember that a lot of times you can take things high and you don't have to go where everyone else goes as soon as you're on, a, on this, eh? You have to develop that line eye I guess. Oh, there it goes. See, I wouldn't have expected that that would be a time that my alarm would go off, but it's neat to know that. Long hill climbs, long steep hill climbs, the alarm may go off intermittently. But it's those like jerky slow movements that usually set it off. So I'll probably be out for like three or four hours today on trails like this, which is pretty awesome. Hi, oh yeah. And it's funny because these, uh, the camera doesn't do any obstacles or any of the hills any justice to like, show how actually steep they actually are. But at the same time, it shows. Um, <laughs> I, uh, how stumbly I am with words. <laughs> Shows all the things that you don't want it to show. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wicked! Whoa, 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 whoa. 
see it won't go off here and I'm excelling pretty hard up the hill. It's very interesting. Electric unicycles are not like that temperature? Yeah. I don't know it's not temperature. What was that? Well maybe it was a slow reaction to the Okay, this is where it gets rocky and muddy and I have to really focus. But anyway, nice riding with you. And uh, yeah, talk to you later.